everyone welcome back and hope that you are having a very cozy weekend i really wanted to get a video up sharing some of my most essential fall wardrobe staples i feel like my wardrobe staples list has definitely changed over the year. Like I did a video like this last year and I was looking through that video. I was like, man, some of my essentials have definitely changed as my style has been developing. If you're new here, I basically am just sharing my, my style journey. I'm just kind of building my dream wardrobe and sharing that journey with you here on my YouTube channel as well because I just love talking about fashion and clothes and it's just how I learn. So hopefully you will get some ideas for my essentials. Some of these are actually new to my essentials list, new discoveries, but most of these have been items that I've already had on my wardrobe for a very long time and they're just things that I reach for over and over. I really did have a hard time narrowing it down to 15 pieces because I have such a extravagant romantic style that it just, it's hard to narrow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and share these pieces with you and I would love it if actually you would tell me your fall wardrobe essentials because I feel like I learned so much from you all as well. We're all kind of on this fashion journey together. We're all building our dream wardrobes and it's just fun to see what you all are doing. Please leave that in the description or description box in the comments so I can read through them because I really do get a lot of styling ideas from all of you. Before I get started, I always like to introduce myself and I just like to quickly say hello if you have never watched one of my videos before. I love making very feminine and romantic styling videos. It's just the way that I have been building my dream wardrobe and I like sharing that with you here. So if you enjoy that type of content, you like fashion and style videos, vlogs, that type of thing. I, I do like shopping vlogs every now and then. I'm actually really in the mood to do a shopping vlog soon. Probably will have something like that coming your way. But if you do enjoy that type of content, don't forget to subscribe and then click that notification bell too because that will let you know what time on Saturday my video is up for you. The first kind of category that I think is essential for the fall is the cardigans. I've noticed with my feminine romantic style that I gravitate towards a certain style of cardigan, especially like lighter neutrals as well. And one of my most reached for cardigans is definitely like just a plain open styled cream ivory cardigan. Throw it on top of dresses and even pants, like it, it just works with everything. And especially since it is that neutral cream color, it just really fits very well into my fall color palette. This is a cardigan from Madewell and I love Madewell basics. Like they just have the, the most amazing, really good quality basics. Makes me really happy when I have something like this that I constantly reach for year after year. And this is definitely one of those. So this is a really good example of the type of cardigan that I like to reach for in my closet and that I definitely consider an essential cardigan for my style. I do have another style of cardigan that I've recently discovered this year that I absolutely love and it's actually the duster cardigan but it's in that crochet knit style. It's the one that I'm wearing right now and I, I got this from Free People. I actually purchased it from one of my newly rentals. I ended up loving it so much that I ended up purchasing it and I just love this because it layers really well on top of like for instance, this cotton dress that really is definitely more so like a summer like the I typically would only wear for summer, but since I have these really cozy cardigans, I think it looks very romantic styled up with a oversized piece like this. And I like the duster cardigan. I've never really been a huge fan of them. I think it because I just never got the right length. This one is the perfect length since I am taller. I just have, I, I'm picky with the length of a duster cardigan because if it's too long, I just feel like it looks silly on me. But this one is really, really nice. Like I love the length of this one. And even if you're shorter than me, I think you would still look fabulous in this cardigan because it is just amazing. Even when I'm just wearing this around and about, people ask me if I like made this cardigan. I'm like, no, I bought it. I don't have the talent to actually make something like this. But I mean, just the fact that it looks homemade. I love that homemade look. I got this one in a size medium medium and it fits perfectly. I wouldn't have thought of this as an essential to my style, but it is one of those things that I've recently discovered and I just can't live without now. Another style of cardigan that has like that crochet knit texture style is also like a cropped cardigan and I do find myself reaching for this one year after year now and this is, it's one of those like cropped crochet knit cardigans with like a little bow details. This is one that I use for layering up mini dresses and I just throw it on top of like work outfits too if I'm trying to look a little bit more professional. I feel like that this one just really reflects that and is really good for like work outfits. Once again, a very specific type of cardigan, but I do feel like it's 
reflects the feminine romantic style very well, especially with the bow details and all that. I did want to mention like one of my favorite like very warm cozy cardigans that is very girly that I find myself reaching for a lot is my chunky pink knit cardigan. This is one that I um, purchased from Chicwish and I love it. It's the perfect shade of pink and I use it to lay on top of dresses like my white cotton dresses. Once again, it's one of those things that feels and looks homemade and it just feels really expensive. But I did want to mention also like I do have a love for the button up cardigans. This is a really good example of one that I think is really great for more every day. And this is one that I got from American Eagle a while ago. And they do come out with cardigans like this with like that waffle knit style every year. So I would definitely like check out American Eagle cardigans because I do find myself really loving their neutral colors. But you will notice the button up. I just think like those style of buttons just kind of adds the cozy like Taylor Swift cardigan type of look to your outfit and that's what I love. Like I love that romantic look. So these are the um, style of cardigan that I find myself reaching for this time of year that I do think give off a very romantic look to a lot of my outfits. My next layer, outer layer type of piece that I like to wear this time of year and that I find myself that it's something that I think is a very classic fall essential is the blazer. Um, but there are certain types of blazers that I find myself going for. So like for instance, I, I really like the wool blazers, but I like them to be in a neutral color. So like a nice light ivory and I do experiment with blazers there are a certain type of blazers that I find myself going back to that I think do definitely reflect the more feminine style and one of these is actually this cropped blazer I don't would this actually be considered a jacket I'm not sure but this kind of gives off like that Parisian style very girly has like the pearl buttons on it this is like a splurge from last year and I just am so happy that I bought this because I find that this is like this cropped blazer works really well with my maxi dresses like I'll wear this with a maxi dress and then lace up boots and it's just such a Victorian look like I really really like it um it's different but it's definitely my style this keeps me warm and I just love it layered up with like a silk blouse now I can wear this with wool trousers like I'm just so excited about my outfit combinations with this but this one is definitely what I would consider at least in my style an essential I just reach for it so much during the fall season another kind of more classic style blazer that I really enjoy going for especially when I'm in the mood for color is a blazer like this this is a blazer from Chicwish and I have a green one like this that I wore a lot last year but I wanted like a more blue toned one so I found this one and I just love it so this is like an, an example of like a more classic style blazer to go for um it's very trendy too blazers always come back each year in different forms and I feel like this is kind of the trend for the blazer this year kind of like that oversized look but that academia um gossip girl type of thing and it's super easy to throw a blazer on top of a dress and look really nice and comfy. So this is kind of one of my go-to things as well, just to kind of throw an oversized blazer on top of an outfit and go out the door and feel like I look professional. There's always the more classic trench coat. Um, this is one of my go-to pieces for like layering up a lighter outfit. It looks really cute on top of mini dresses and that type of thing, mini skirts, maxi dresses, wool pants. It's just kind of a classic and something that I always think of when it comes to the fall style, at least for my area. I find that trench coats are something that I like to wear. It's not too heavy, but it adds a little bit of warmth to my outfit. And actually I have a new discovery with trench coats that I am absolutely obsessed with. And if you've been watching my videos for the past like couple weeks, it is something I have shared over and over, but I just cannot get enough of it. And it's actually a sleeveless trench coat. And the reason I'm so in love with this sleeveless trench coat is because it allows me to show like the puff sleeve style. Like I love the sleeves to be shown in my outfit. Can't get enough of it. It just works so well in my wardrobe. And it's definitely a unique, very um, specific style type of piece. I think it's a very classic item. I think it goes in with a lot of different styles. I did 
want to throw in like the oversized teddy coats into this as well because I do have a brown teddy coat that I wear a lot and that I just throw on for work because it's just so cozy but I don't like the color of it so I'm actually looking for like a lighter cream teddy coat to add to my fall essentials so hopefully I'll have something like that to share with you like this year but coats have been kind of my focus for investing in this year like I've really been trying to get those classic items So I'm moving on to tops, essential tops for the feminine romantic style that I think are must-haves for fall. One of my favorites is the chunky, oversized, like heavily textured sweater. One really good example of a sweater that I love that really reflects this like homemade look and like heavily, like very heavy textured piece is this white oversized cable knit sweater from Free People. Free People I think has really good sweaters like I uh, Free People and Madewell I think have really good classic um, items that you can really go in so many different directions. It's just one of those things that I think you can get a lot of different looks from. If I'm doing a lazy day at home I will wear this on top of leggings like this is just my go-to for winter too. Like this is kind of like a fall winter staple. But a really good example of my style on sweaters is this sweater that I thrifted last year. It's a really good quality and I just think the patchwork on it is so fun. It has like that stitched look. I just really like unique pieces like this and the color is really like, like that soft pink color. And then you have like a little bit of that autumn color palette with the pop of Orange, like this is like pumpkin orange. I love that, like pumpkin spice latte orange. The next style of top that I think is really essential for the fall wardrobe is the silk blouse. And this is one of my favorites. This is one of, that you've probably seen if you've been here watching my videos. This is one that I pull out time and time again for like romantic feminine fall outfits. I even wear this in the summer too. Like it's just one of those pieces that works year round, but I do think it's a very classic fall piece, especially if you have the feminine style. Like it just is, I think, an essential for the feminine style in general. You can layer it underneath dresses. You can wear it with wool pants. It looks very, very classic and kind of like vintage with the right wool trousers. And actually a little tip that I wanted to throw in with this specific lace blouse, because I do have this link down below in my description box, it's from Lily Silk. I do find that the right type of bra is very important for this blouse because the buttons are kind of far apart, so they like to pull open. But I've found with that, at least from wearing this over and over again, I have found that the best way to wear this is with a lace bralette underneath it. And it really, for some reason, it just keeps it from pulling open. Open. I don't know if it's the fabric and I'll leave the exact bralette that I wear with this underneath this blouse so that you can know exactly how I get the wear from it. I did want to throw that in there because I know a lot of you really really like this blouse. Another style of top that I just cannot live without in the fall season now is the cashmere top. And it's nice because they just, it's a lighter material, but it keeps you really warm. And I think that's one of the things that just makes it a fall essential. But one of the oldest pieces that I have in my wardrobe and like most warm pieces is this cashmere top. Um, I thrifted this one, but it has like a really cute, um, like little bow detail on the shoulders. I just love the color of this one too. And the puff sleeves, of course. Um, two other thrifted pieces that I have mentioned, one being my, Ralph Lauren piece with a lace neckline but also this one I actually have found that I love wearing this on a more everyday cashmere is just so comfortable and this one is actually very very light and it looks really cute with a bralette once again styled underneath it it just kind of gives it that soft home look very cozy each of these sweaters are very similar but different at the same time like I use them for different things like this one is definitely more so like dressy um, I find myself reaching for like more work attire outfits with this one this one is kind of like more everyday cozy but I, I do definitely wear this more so for work this one is definitely more like lazy day at home but you still look nice <laughs> The last category that I wanted to talk about in regards to tops is the white layering top. So this can come, this actually comes in several different forms for me. One is actually this like very basic, oh my goodness, it's inside out. 
But one feature of this tank top that I think is very notable, especially for the feminine style, is the square neckline. That is something that I have been trying to invest in more. Another style of white, um, like layering pieces, like a very romantic styled item. This is one that I thrifted recently. This is just a loose, flowy, just easy throw on tank top but it's it's got a lot of that like eyelet detail and there are so many of these on secondhand stores so I will try and link a few if I can but just this style of item is really easy to throw cardigans on once again since I do prefer cardigans. The last piece that I wanted to mention for my white tops it's not a tank top but it is one that I find myself reaching for a lot during the fall season is like a white ruffle top and this is definitely once again very specific to my style. Just another one of my pieces that is very essential for my fall wardrobe. May not be for everybody's but I just think that a white ruffle top you just get such a unique look with it and it really reflects um, what your style is if you have a piece like that. So getting in those white tops definitely I find very useful for the fall season. Since I was like really trying to narrow down um, my essentials, I just chose one bottom to share with you. Um, and it's actually a newer addition to my wardrobe, but the wool trousers. Oh my goodness, it has been such a struggle finding wool pants that fit right. But I did re just recently thrift these and I'm so happy with them. I actually really don't find myself reaching for jeans all that much anymore. Every now and then I will wear a pair of flared pants, but I actually prefer the wool tailored trouser. It may not fall into everybody's style aesthetic, but I just you just can't go wrong with wool trousers, especially when you find the right fit. It takes time and you definitely have to do your research and try different styles but I do think that the wool trouser is something that will just never go out of style for fall. I think that these just really have their moment for fall and it's just what I think of when I think of a fall style. My last fall wardrobe staple that I don't think is going to be on everybody's list but is definitely on mine is the white maxi dress. Um, this is one that I just recently thrifted but I do have several different styles of, of the white maxi dress in my wardrobe. I just find them very easy to get like that romantic cardigan look with this style of piece. I prefer the cardigan layered on top or sweater. The maxi dress in general I think is definitely essential for fall because you can accessorize them. The accessories that you pair with them really does make it more fall. Like the type of boots that you pair with them, the type of layering piece, a jacket, cardigan. Like there, I feel like I need to do a whole video on how I layer up my dresses for fall because I think that they definitely fit into the fall wardrobe, especially if you have the feminine style. So I wanted to share the style of shoes that I like wearing this time of year because it is up to your style and what you like, but these are the style of boots that I think are just so much needed for my fall outfits. So in regards to like boots and shoes for fall, one that I just have to have in my wardrobe that that just tells me get the look that I'm going for are the lace-up boots. So for instance, I have this pair that I've had for a good while. These are from Jeffrey Campbell and then I have these gray lace-up boots. It really does give you a very distinct type of look for your outfit, like vintage, um, a little bit of that Victorian romantic style. I really like getting that type of look for my fall outfit. So that's the, that's the reason why I tend to gravitate towards that style of boot. But I would say that I do prefer like ankle boots over full length, like knee high boots and all that. I tend to wear the ankle boots way more. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I need to analyze my style more, but most of them are in like the neutral colors. I did just find this pair of like pink velvet boots off of Lulu's and I really like them because they have this low heel. I just got these. They're on sale and they're really, really affordable. They're not like the, the highest quality angle boots or anything, but they're really cute and they'll last for what I want to wear them for. So I just, I love the look of these. They're so cute with a little bow on the front. I picked up this white pair too. I, since I'm taller, I don't like to wear like super high heels or anything. I just don't find them to be all that wearable. The other style of like more casual shoe that I love for fall is actually tennis shoes. These look just really cute with my maxi dresses and the style of dresses that I have, they just fit really well into my wardrobe. I definitely think that tennis shoes are 
must for fall. Um, and they're definitely like my go-to casual shoe. So even over the ankle boots, I would say that I get the most wear from my tennis shoes. So this is one pair that I really, really love. I have a couple different pairs. Um, I love the Vans sneakers, but this one is just kind of more unique to my style um, with the floral pattern on it. And I just, I love these so much. The one last style of shoe that I wanted to mention that I have been wearing a lot recently and that I now consider an essential in my wardrobe since they're so comfortable for like everyday like work wear has been the low block heel. I have overlooked this so much in the past. I thought they kind of looked a little bit, I don't know. I don't know why I never used to wear these. They're so wearable and I used to like gravitate more towards the um, like Oxford loafer style shoes, but I actually really like these. I think that they're a little bit, they fit into my style a little bit better. Some of you have mentioned that you've purchased these and that you love them too so I love these these are just so easy to throw on and they look really cute with any outfit and give it that feminine look that I'm looking for but also I have this newer pair more like luxury pair of shoes that I have been loving as well that has been really helping me get those like academia looks that I love and these just have all the fall colors they have like this really cute poked up pattern on them they're really easy to wear they're super comfortable the main Thing that I wanted to point out about these shoes is that low block heel. I just, there's something about that that makes them so wearable. Gives you the support, but you still have a little bit of heel to kind of elevate the outfit a little bit. So as the um, I'm like last main style of shoe that I would say I've been loving for my fall outfits so far this year. But now I want to go ahead and get into accessories. And this one is going to be fun because I definitely have narrowed down my accessories. Like I have gone into a very specific style with my accessories. My first essential accessory has actually been gloves. I don't think gloves are all that uncommon for this time of year, but I've been wearing them in the form of like actually styled with my outfits. So um, I've shown these white gloves so many times, but there's something about wearing gloves that gives the look that I'm going for with my outfits like really that romantic academia. I mean I'm hoping that I can share like more like leather style gloves with you here soon because I think at this point we're kind of getting into more of like the leather styles but I just think gloves are so easy. Even like a pair of silk gloves or satin gloves I think you can definitely get fall outfits from and these are just simple cotton gloves so and the little bow detail on them oh my god. But I do also have like a more dressy pair of gloves and they're these like um, pink, pink gloves that I'll use for more like dressy occasions, which I don't think they're essential, but they're so fun. Gloves are just never going to go out of style, but I think bringing them into more everyday outfits has just made it so much more fun and just a fresh approach to it too. Just kind of bring back wearing gloves for every day and, and the way to accessorize your outfit. These are the it accessories for this year. Just try it. You have to try wearing gloves with your outfit. Like it just makes you feel so elegant and sophisticated and everybody's going to want to wear gloves when they see you wearing your gloves. So my next essential that I am loving with my fall outfits are like statement earrings. For some reason, during the fall season specifically, not even during the winter, it's always the fall, I end up loving like big statement earrings. Definitely with more of like neutral outfits. I recently just bought these earrings from the Love Jack Fancy sale and just cannot get enough of them finding the florals and bringing them into fall but in like a statement earring I think it's just so much fun and it looks really cute with like white sweaters that's personally been my favorite way to wear it and then the last accessory that I think is essential is just like a neutral handbag and actually one of my favorites has been this little white handbag I really wanted to throw in and I think I am going to just kind of mention this um I've actually been wearing those like cloth tote bags. They're super homemade looking bags, but they're really cute. I have like a white one and a Love Shack Fancy one that's like in a pink. And I just find that I wear them a lot. Definitely for more like a casual outfit. I would say that my go-to has been this little white handbag. Just since my neutral color for my wardrobe has been the ivory and cream. Not to mention the tote bags, the little um, like knit homemade tote bags. I love them and, and I think I need to add some more. Like they're really easy to thrift. So those are all of my wardrobe staples for fall. I hope you got some ideas and maybe something to help you as you're looking for your essentials, but I would really like to know what yours are because I do get a lot of ideas from comments. I've actually gotten so many. A few of these I actually got from 
several of you, um, like for instance, the square neckline, one of you mentioned as a feminine staple. So yeah, I really wanna know what yours are. I feel like it's gonna be unique for all of us. We all have different wardrobes, so yeah, I really had fun sharing these with you and I hope it's helpful for you. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.